YouTube. I'm getting assaulted by a tree. We're gonna take a walk down Washington Avenue today and see if we can check out what it looks like before major uh, construction work starts to renovate it uh, for the revitalization of the Avenue project. So let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna start out here on the south end of Washington Avenue and walk up to the north end. Union Endicott High School is right behind us and uh, this is the former Nurchies on the Avenue restaurant and then you have Wendy's right next door. Years and years and years ago it used to be the pig stand and then it sat empty for a long time and then Nurchies bought it and turned it into a more high-end restaurant and only a few months after opening it actually uh, had a huge fire that ripped most of the front facade of the building off, turned out to be an electrical fire. Now admittedly, I'm not the foremost authority on the history of the avenue, but uh, if you see a building that you know in the comments section, and you know what it used to be, or you know some history about it, feel free to uh, throw a comment down below and let us know, so that we can all get educated. So. The revitalization of the avenue, <clears throat> pardon me, the revitalization of the avenue is going to add a bike lane, it's going to fully rebuild the roadway, and uh, you know, just in general, it en enhance the appearance of the avenue. I will put some uh, renderings in the video if I find them, pretty sure I will. The really historic old uh, post office is right here. Love the artwork that's inside the building and the stonework in general on the front of it. St. Ambrose Church. I did a video of the local churches. I'll put a link in the upper right corner. This is uh, the corner of uh, Broad Street. This used to be a department store years and years and years ago. I forget the name of it, but I'm sure somebody will throw it down in the comment section. Doesn't appear to be much activity going on with it these days. A lot of the windows are broken. Looks like there's a lot of trash built up inside. The new DMV is right across the street here. It's always a line. There used to be an awning hanging over this section of uh, the street here on the Avenue Collection. Uh, I'm not sure, I think this used to be a department store as well, but I could be wrong. Appears to be uh, some collection of thrift stores now and uh, photography shop maybe. The florist right across the street, Endicott Florist. Supposedly in this empty lot here, there's going to be a market rate apartment complex getting constructed at some point, but um, haven't seen any progress lately on that. Downtown quarterback right across the street. Avenue Antique and Art Gallery. I think I've been in there before. Tattoo Parlor. The fantastic North Brewery has really good beer. Craft beer. Domino's. The opposite of excellent. <laughs> Just kidding. Their pizza's all right. And here is EPAC with their brand new digital sign that just got installed maybe a month or two ago. Uh, it looks really good. They also kind of fixed some of the issues with the awning. Man, I really like the content that's playing up there too. It's very, uh, very interesting. You guys should click subscribe like the sign says.
looks like somebody's in there vacuuming, getting the place ready for whatever's gonna go on. <clears throat> Karate Studio and uh, CMS Family Fun and Party Center. They have like inflatables and host birthday parties. We had our kids party there for her birthday. It was pretty cool. This is uh, Broad Street now and uh, the Pantheon restaurant is right down there. I'm gonna get hit by a car, wasn't paying attention, walked right out into the street. <laughs> Subway, the beveled edge. <coughs> Pilates on the Avenue. I'm not that flexible. Extreme Ambition MMA and Fitness. It's Monday, so a lot of these places are either not open yet or don't open on Mondays, it looks like. Got uh, RCA Rent-A-Center coming up down there. M&T Bank is across the street. Here's the Rent-A-Center. Oh wow, look at that. They have a really old, really old IBM computer in the display case over there. That was pretty cool. There used to be another bank on this block, but they went out of business. Um, I forget if it was, well, M&T is right there, so it's not M&T. Maybe it was KeyBank, I don't know. But I, yeah, right where those flagpoles are sticking up down there used to be Key Bank. I'm like 90% sure. Couple staples of the avenue over here. Thigh Basil, Acropolis, Original Italian. Original Italian pizza, really good. Highly recommend. Acropolis, cheap, decent food. Really uh, old looking barber shop over here. <clears throat> the uh, adult outlet right across the street if you're uh, feeling a little frisky. <laughs> Lover Sushi and Hibachi, Washington Family Dental. The Cheesesteak Company used to be on Upper Front Street in Binghamton, but they recently moved here to the Avenue, and I haven't really had them since they completed that transition. But I would recommend it. It's really delicious, really tasty food. Gourmet Deli and grocery. Well, no gourmet, just deli and grocery. And this really cool looking castle-like structure on the end of the street here. Really nice architecture. Oh, and apparently something uh, crazy is going on down here. Welcome to Endicott. So this place isn't on Washington Avenue, but we should still give it honorable mention. Cinema Saver has been an institution as long as I can remember, and it was always an amazing place for a cheap movie. Granted, the movies came out a little, the movies here came out a little bit later than in the traditional theater, but uh, really cheap popcorn and concession accessories as well. So I thought I'd give it honorable mention. It's on the backside of Washington Avenue, just before Monroe Street. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely worth checking out if you don't want to spend a fortune on a movie. Well guys, thanks for watching. That's going to do it for this video tour of Washington Avenue before the reconstruction project happens. Uh, so give the video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button down below, and also down in the description there's links on ways you can help support the channel, like my Patreon. Uh, so thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.